Hi, I'm a field applications engineer from LDRA, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at our new productivity package for the medical industry, and specifically how we can use it to leverage solutions for IEC 62304. In this table, I've organized some of the different IEC 62304 requirements by their class level. Starting with static analysis, for class A, it's not required, for class B, it's recommended, and for class C, it's mandatory. Moving on to code coverage, for class A, it's again not required, but for classes B and C, we can see that some form of statement coverage, branch decision coverage, or MCDC coverage is either required or recommended. For regression testing, for class A, it is recommended to do, but not required. For class B, we'll need to make sure that we have all of our basic boundary tests done. And for class C, this is very mandatory with high levels of coverage in all three of the different categories. For our testing environment in class A, it's fine to just run your tests on the host machine. And for class B, you can run your tests on a simplified environment or a simulator, whereas for class C, you'll be required to run on a real world or representative environment, uh, also known as a embedded testing board. For your documentation and traceability, for class A, it will be a minimal requirement, but for classes B and C, it will move up the ladder into moderate and more comprehensive documentation requirements. Thankfully, LDRA has a comprehensive set of tools to meet all of these different requirements at any class. And having all of these solutions under one set of tools under one roof helps you mainly to internally standardize your documentation. It's going to help you streamline your time to compliance with IEC 62304. And ultimately, it's going to save you money because you don't have to go out and buy five different tools for five different things. So let's jump right into the LDRA productivity package for the medical industry and take a look at how this works. After bringing your code into the LDRA productivity package for medical devices, one of the first things you'll want to do is to configure your coding standard for static analysis. At LDRA, we have over 30 different standards for whatever industry you might need, as well as the ability to customize from our list of over 1,000 different rules and regulations that you can customize in each of these individual standards. For this set, I've actually already ran static analysis against the CERT C2016 coding standard, and we can see I have some violations here associated with my code. If I'd like to take a look at any point in my code where some of these violations occur, all I have to do is simply double click on one of the violations, and these will get pulled up in Notepad++ or whatever text editor you choose. If I close my Notepad++ window here, I can also exclude violations from this window simply by right clicking, going to violation exclusions, and selecting how I would like to exclude this violation. In this case, I'll just exclude the individual violation. And now we can see that that violation has disappeared from our code review. If I want to get it back, I'll simply right click and hit show violation excluded, and we can see that it's now here, it's just grayed out. The next thing you'll likely want to do is run some dynamic analysis, let's say on the host machine. To do that, I can simply run dynamic analysis by clicking this button right here. And this is going to enable my MinGW compiler to run my project as normal. Here I can put in some user inputs. And we'll let my program finish running and gather all of the execution history and we'll see you when it's finished. And so now that the execution has completed, I can right click on my set and view our code coverage to see all the different statement and branch decision coverages. So now that I have some code coverage here, one of the next things that I'll want to do is maybe increase this code coverage by doing some unit tests. And to do that, we can open up this same project in TB run, which is our unit testing software. And now if I want to see all the code coverage that I've already acquired, I can simply create a sequence. And then we set the procedure to white box mode. And now we can see all of our code coverage with each individual function. 
If we want to run some unit tests on our code, we have a couple options. We can go in and create unit tests manually by creating a new test case here. Alternatively, you can actually import different sequences from a TCF file, which allow you to import multiple test cases to be run and passed around between your teams. In my case, I'm going to run some test cases on the function add product here, and once we're finished, we should see 100% statement and 100% and bridge decision coverage. And if not, then we know we need to create some more test cases. So I'll run my test cases here. And now that our test cases have completed, we can see that all four test cases have in fact passed, and we've increased our coverage up to 100% statement and 100% branch decision coverage for the add product function. The final thing that we'll want to take a look at in the LDRA productivity package for medical devices is going to be all of the reports that we've generated along the way, and more specifically, reports specific to IEC 62304 and the different class levels. If I open up the report for the IEC 62304 classes B and C, we can see that it gives us a bunch of different information that will help us gain compliance with this standard. First of all, we have our software development planning section, and this goes into software requirement analysis, architectural design, detailed design, and various different other categories that will help us gain compliance with this standard. We also have a test manager report to show off code review, quality review, as well as our statement and branch decision coverages. We have a code review report, which is very similar to the one that we had generated earlier. We have a code coverage report, which shows us specifically statement and branch decision coverage, as well as a unit and module tests report to show us our different unit tests and whether or not they have passed. Thanks for watching my short presentation on the LDRA productivity package for medical. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at LDRA.com. And don't forget to subscribe to see more great videos just like this one. Thanks and have a nice day.